Hello everyone, today I want to talk about a natural face toner that is able to hydrate, rejuvenate and freshen up your skin. I'm going to tell you what is a hydrolate, what it contains of and what it's good for. And for the most interesting part, I have a recipe of a homemade hydrolate that you can make yourself. In many of my videos, I mentioned hydrolates. And after the video about making a natural face cream, you started asking me more questions about what it actually is and where you can get it from. So, what is a hydrolate itself? It is a cooled down water vapor that went through a specific plant or flower. It is used to get all the nutrients and micro elements from the plants. It has the same properties as the essential oil from the same plant but it's less concentrated and therefore is nicer to your skin. And you can use it as a toner, as a hairspray, or as a water base while preparing any face cream. I'm going to shortly tell you the way hydrolates are made in the factory. Plants are being put in a net above the boiling water. On top of that, there is a cooling area, where condensation of the water vapor is happening. When the vapor goes through the plants, it gets filled up with the essential components. And when being cooled down, it goes back to liquid state, but now it's full of microelements and vitamins. Essential oils are forming a film on top of the water, and it's being collected separately. The leftover liquid is hydrolate, also known as floral water. In order to make floral water at home, you are going to need a pot, a sieve, a bowl and a plant of your choice. You should also use foil for isolation and ice for better condensation. I am going to show you the main techniques of making floral water at home. To start off, you need to make sure that you put the sieve in the pot in a way that it would not touch the water. Then place a bowl in the middle of the sieve. That's the place where your hydrolate is going to be condensed. Place your plants around the bowl and cover everything with a lid. I'm going to flip the lid in order to have all the concentrate in the center and let it warm up and cook slowly. In order to speed up the process and improve the quality, you are going to need a foil. and ice. You can use any type of plant to prepare floral water. Fresh flowers and herbs give better concentrated hydrolate. But you can also use dried flowers and herbs. You can use chamomile, roses, calendula, and even oranges and coffee beans. We now made two different types of hydrolate. The first one out of fresh flowers and the second one out of dried ones, where I used green tea. It's very important to notice that you should be choosing the size of the sieve by the size of the pot. If the size of the pot and the sieve are matching, the quality of your hydrolate is going to be better. You can experiment with the amount of your plants. The only important thing that they should not be overlapping too much, so that the vapor can easily go through it. In order to make the floral water that would work especially good for you, you should pick the plant that fits your skin type. For oily skin, I would recommend using oak leaves or bay leaves. Those plants have an anti-inflammatory effect fit for the skin that has white pores and tend to get acne. These hydrolates work as a toner for oily skin, as well as they'll be perfect for an oily scalp. You could also use nettle, parsley or mint for your hydrolate, if you have an oily skin. For the dry skin type, you can use calendula, which is good for dry and peeling skin, yarrow, which works best for the sensitive skin, or dill that evens the skin tone and hydrates it. 
A universal hydrolyte recipe that will work for all skin types is the floral water made out of birch leaves. Birch water evens out and refreshes your skin. It will also help strengthening your hair and remove dandruff. Lavender hydrates your skin and normalizes the metabolic processes in it. Chamomile has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory effect. In order to rejuvenate your skin and fight wrinkles, you can make your hydrolate made out of lime flowers, roses or rose hip. All of these plants have smoothening, rejuvenating effect on your skin. And they also contain antioxidants. You can store a hydrolate that you made at home from two weeks to two months, depending on where you store it, in the room temperature or in the fridge. Apart from other ways of using it, you can use hydrolate in order to dissolve clay masks, dissolving herbal masks such as uptan. You could also use it as a hydrating face spray throughout the day and to prepare face creams at home. In order to get 50 milliliters of a natural face toner, you're going to need between 25 and 30 minutes, starting when the water is boiling. Your stove should be on the middle heat and avoid super boiling water. You can use this hydrolate as a face mist even if you have makeup on. So your makeup is not gonna melt? No, because I tried this already 100 times at least. Another way of using Hydrolate is as a makeup remover. For that, mix your Hydrolate with any essential cosmetic oil, such as peach, almond, avocado, or she oil, using one part of your oil and four parts of your Hydrolate, and shake it before using. Soak a cotton pad with your remover and you're ready to go. And after that, use a cotton pad with pure hydrolate as a face toner. If you decided to purchase a hydrolate, then make sure that you pay attention to the components. It should be called hydrolate or distillate of a particular plant. If there is additional water or essential oil in the component list, then the quality of this hydrolate is questionable. And now I'd like to answer some questions to my previous video about handmade face cream and serums. While making the video, there was a misunderstanding about the components of the face cream. So we added two tablespoons of rose hydrolate and two drops of orange essential oil. And about the serum or fluid, you should apply it to your face for 30 minutes. It contracts your skin a little bit, which is absolutely normal. You can also apply the second layer of your fluid and then rinse it off using your hydrolate. If you store it in the fridge, it gets thicker and forms two layers, which is also absolutely normal. Before using, just take it out of the fridge and let it warm up a little bit, so it gets an even consistency. I hope this video was useful for you and you're going to try to make a hydrolate at home. Looking forward to see your comments with your results under this video. I guarantee you will want to forget any other face toner if you try Hydrolate ones. So please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Also click the bell to be updated about our newest videos.